Good morning from the Holiday Inn Express. This is definitely not a hiker hotel. This is much, much nicer. Um, it is 6.30 a.m. And we had full intentions of sleeping till at least 8 or 9 today. I was up to about 12.30 last night going through some mail that my parents had brought and just going through and organizing stuff. We had all of our stuff spread out, or still is all spread out because it's all wet. So we had it spread around the room to dry. So I was about 12.30 when I went to bed. I woke up <clears throat> about 6 o'clock and looked over and Moss was on her phone. I said, are you awake already? And she was for the first time ever probably. She was awake before me. And she brought me coffee. So it's 6.30 and we are awake. I guess our zero day is starting early. Laundry is done. And I've already fixed my air pad. I, I need to start video on all these air pad repairs. Moss and I filled the tub up and she helped me hold the pad under and we looked for the hole. Got that all patched up. Um, pretty much most of the chores we can do at the hotel are done. I'm gonna go ahead and head back down. My mom and my sister are sitting in the lobby. We'll go down there and drink some more coffee, get a few more things to do. And um, I think my dad's still sleeping. And it's like nine, after nine o'clock. Can't wait for more coffee. Spirit fingers. <laughs> All right, this is out the window of the hotel. We got this little groundhog. Check this out. We don't got to be in the woods when we see animals. Alright, we're all in the car. We finally left the hotel. Got a bunch of chores done this morning. Oh, hey! And right now, Dad is driving. I'm not sure how we'd ever get there without Mom's help, though. Thank you. She's kind of bossy. Not just not just all the time, but mostly in the car. Holy cow! Diesel 624? Welcome to the gas line. Alright, here we are. We've made it to REI. I need a new pillow. Moss is hoping to change your life with some new shoes. <laughs> Ooh, there's a burrito place. We're gonna have to get some lunch around here. Hi, Stace. Hey, You ready to go to REI for the first time ever? Yes. All right, we got Moss new shoes. We got stuff at REI. Now we're heading to a brewery. Check this out. It's a nice outside. It's called Evergreen Brewery or Evergreen Brewing Company. Oh, this is a really cool brewery. The actual bar is set up on the tanks. Check out this water machine. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it's on, we not just without walked a into a diet brewery. Coke. And Marilyn says, let me taste a beer. Good to thought. And she's talking about how it normally tastes. We, none of us knew Closet? she's ever had a beer. Closet beer drinker? Open that closet door. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what do you think about this? Mind Shop. blown? Mind blown. Shop. Right on point. <laughs> Can I have it back? <laughs> all right, we're all back in Boiling Springs. We told them how pretty it was here last night. Although it's not as pretty now as it was last night before sunset, but it's still beautiful. So we're doing a short walk. They're doing, mom and dad and Stacy are doing a southbound on the AT. This is your first section hike on the AT. You're yeah, doing a so very short trail. sections. <laughs> We're doing a Sobo section today. Bonus miles here. For the, for you're going to 0.2 and you're going to be dumb. Yeah, okay. I'll be dumb with the trail. Dumb. Oh, done, done, done. <laughs> Two in my backyard. Bring your duck food. Okay, we got two in the backyard. Look how pretty this is. That was beside us they did a yo-yo. They did a south and northbound section. Them, uh, 
boiling. Good evening. So last thing you saw, we were at the brewery and then we went to um, Boiling Springs and took a walk. The family did a section hike, about a, <laughs> a salad point two, I think. And they did it. They did a yo-yo basically. Ooh. They did like <laughs> point two south and point two back north. And then we came back to the hotel. We all went swimming. Um, and there was a really cool hot tub. So we were in there for a while and now we're like all ready to sleep. But we're sitting down in the lobby and Moss and I are waiting for a pizza. Mom, Dad, and Stacy got some Chipotle's. <laughs> Chip that, that's how I'm told it's pronounced, oh. Chipotle's. There's like multiples. Mom and Stacy are playing some, some card games right now. Jim Murphy. <laughs> and, um, that's going to probably be a wrap for today. I don't know exactly what's going to happen tomorrow. There's some talk of a, a Hershey's chocolate plant tour or chocolate factory. I'm sure go down for what's that movie? In the, um, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Wonka. Can we all go pre like, pretend we're Willy Wonka? Of course. Anything all right. Come back tomorrow for some Willy Wonka time. 17. Good morning. So it's not really morning. It's almost 11 a.m. Got up fairly early, had a wonderful night with all the people in the room above us, just like having a party, jumping up and down. There must've been a trampoline up there. They went till 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. they were at it again. But the hotel confirmed they were there for one night and they were leaving. So hopefully you get to sleep better tonight. Anyway, um, it's kind of a rainy, dreary day. It looks like the rain's supposed to be done. I don't think I told you all yesterday, I did get my air pad patched, found the hole, got it patched. Hopefully this is just good for the rest of the hike and I'm so over dealing with air pads. Also bought a new pillow at REI. Moss got some new shoes, but she's still struggling. We didn't get any um, insoles that she needed. So hopefully the shoes will be the fix. Um, and then today we are right now headed to Hershey's Chocolate World. Not sure what that's gonna be. I think we're just gonna do the free tour. And I'm sure there'll be food at some point today. So stay tuned and we'll see. Oh look, we got we got Stacy back there. Hey. Spirit fingers going on back there. <laughs> so it looks like Hershey Park, Sports and Entertainment Complex. I mean they got all kinds of stuff going. They got roller coasters. I think Hershey's more of a thing than we realized. And this place is like packed. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna do adventure number two. So we're going to, let's see if I can get this on here. We're gonna watch a 4D movie. We're gonna do Hershey's Unwrap and we're gonna create our own candy bars. Okay, so we've already watched our 4D cartoon. It was a complete waste. It was like a children's cartoon. Stacy, what's this next thing you've signed us up for? We are doing Hershey's Unwrapped. It is a live show tasting experience. I 
I hope it's worth it. <laughs> I hope it's better than the last. We are at the Hershey's Academy Institute of Chocolate Tasteology. Okay, so we just now came out of the Hershey's on the wrap. A chocolate tasting journey. Show them the sign. I, I showed the sign, I think. So, I rate that is, if I was like somewhere between the ages of four and eight, it would have been amazing. No, here's the truth. Nine and below, or 65 and above, smiles. Good stuff. He loved it, he loved it. Tool. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Through large cleaning machines that screen and thoroughly remove unwanted parts like pulp and bits of cacao pod. Our cocoa experts carefully select, sort, and combine beans from various countries in precise amounts to achieve that unique and consistent Hershey's flavor. They're actually flowing. The last and final experience, we're going to create our own chocolate. So I have to wear a beard mask, a face mask, and a bib, or apron. They're aprons. It's an apron, not a bib. Okay, there's mine right there going in.
the cooling chambers. We made our candy bars and all the um, tours that we signed up for are done and we're finally leaving. It was fun, but I'm tired. I think I need a rest day after the rest day. I got too many like metal tins in my hand. Let me show you what my custom designed candy bar. There's my container. I messed up and I hit done before I was done, so I didn't get to finish designing it. But hey, I'm sure it's gonna be good chocolate. Uh, I'm so tired after a long day of chocolatiering. However, we had to go pick up the moss and take her to dinner. She's been sitting by herself whining about her hurt feet all day. And now we had to take her to a brewery for dinner. Appalachian Brew Pub. In the car, we got a beautiful sunset happening over here. Check that out, right over Stacy's head. Well, we had a really good dinner at the Appalachian Brewing Company, and oh, Stacy said several times, "You guys want to zero a third time?" And <laughs> yes, yes, we want to, but no, we can't. We got miles to make. We got a plan, you know. We're getting back on trail, so we gotta start acting like it. We're going to do 18 and a half tomorrow is our tentative plan. Moss is feeling very ambitious. She's got new shoes and she got some new insoles. So she thinks she wants to do like 104 miles tomorrow, maybe <laughs> to break a record. But we're going to start off with the possible 18.5. Uh, so that's probably about it. You've seen everything from the Hershey's plant. And uh, we're going to head back to the hotel and finish packing up. And it's probably the last you'll see of mom and dad Stacy for a while. And it's probably gonna be all the video I'm gonna do. I don't wanna I don't wanna cry or tell my mama goodbye. So <laughs> I'm gonna close it out here, tell y'all good night, come back next time. We should be get, rolling into Dun Cannon uh, at some point in the next video. Have a good night everybody. Alright Stacy, what was your favorite part of your trip so far to Pennsylvania and was this the first time you've ever been in Pennsylvania yes this was my first time I've ever been okay um, my peak are we doing peak and pit or just peak is that the high and the low yeah yeah I don't know what the peaks and the pits but okay. yeah tell me tell me the best and the worst part of your trip I think peak was like today the Hershey thing was <laughs> very fun um you just never knew what you're gonna get it was a brand new experience all the cartoons. It was All a lot. All the cartoons was really fun. So since um, we're doing the pits, what's the pits? The pit was just the car ride. How long the car ride Well, was. I'm really glad you did the car ride for me. Love you. All right, Mom. What was the best part about your trip to Pennsylvania? Uh, the best part was, of course, picking you guys up. I knew up. he was oh, going to say that. She's a she. She's a she. <laughs> um, picking us up in the dark. Well, we picked you up. And you know what the other thing you got to do? You got to walk on the trail. You did a yo-yo section hike. You that might have know. been my pit. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> it was like, uh, would you say 0.2 miles? Not even. It was like 0.2 each way. I think actually maybe it's 0.1 each Dang. way. But either way, you did a section hike, so it was awesome. There we go. We were on the 18th. That's all that really matters. Was, all right, we're going to do a rear view mirror while you're driving. What was the best part about your trip to Pennsylvania? Well, everything so far has been good. In my, I mean, I, I got... I guess three peaks. Seeing you guys. The Hershey factory was really good because I'm 65 and old. <laughs> and I got to meet uh, your partner Moss, uh, your hiking partner Moss. I was very, very uh, pleased to meet her. Well, I'm glad you drove these ladies a thousand miles here to see us. And I'm sorry you have a hurt back. I couldn't have made it without this one here telling me how to drive. <laughs> My favorite part of this double zero is, uh, I think, the moment that um, Chap's family called him on the trail, and we were half a mile from where we were going to camp, and all of a sudden his phone rings and we're getting a hotel in six miles, so um, that was very, very exciting, very, um, really cool turn of events. That's my favorite part. 
and I also want to thank um, Little Chap's family for kind of taking me in with them and um, taking me to REI so I could get new shoes and involving me in all of their adventures on our double zero. That was very nice of them. And for um, taking some of my stuff to the post office for me so I don't have to do that. They're going to set it home for me. Lighten my pack up a little. And I think that's everything. Mom and Dad and Stacy, thank you so much for driving like a thousand miles one way just to come and see me. And it was very much needed. It was a good break right in the middle of the trip. And thanks for letting Moss come as well. Because as much as we don't like each other most of the time, um, we make a pretty good hiking team and I didn't want to lose her. So I'm glad you let her come. Thank you so much for paying for our hotel rooms for three nights. It was way nicer than our typical um, hiker hiker hotels that we would normally stay in. Um, in this town, we would have stayed at the $60 special at the Quality Inn, and we heard it was clean, but very rustic. Um, so the Holiday Inn Express is way better, so thank you for that. And more than anything, thank you all for so much support on this crazy journey that I'm on right now. And more than anything, thank you for taking such good care of Lucy, my puppy. And Shannon, thank you for staying with Lucy and my mom and dad's dog so they can come to see me. We're more than halfway done. And this was like, I don't know, it was just the perfect break in the middle, the refresh. We got a new gear. I feel kind of like we're on a fresh start tomorrow. Um, Although I'm not really, I don't know that I'm ready to go back to the woods. This is the third night of the Holiday Inn Express. And I think I could become a regular here. Anyway, probably will not stay in any more Holiday Inn Expresses in trail towns. I don't know, maybe that's more of a thing up north. But down south, there's not many Holiday Inn Expresses in trail towns. But anyway, thanks for coming. Thanks for everything. Thanks for having a good time. Thanks for making me go to the Hershey factory because... While parts of it were lame, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with you all. All right, I hope you all have a safe trip home and I'm looking forward to seeing you after I summit Mama K.